Tony from Adafruit Northwest, what you got going on this week? Hey, yeah, so I've got a little bit of a uh, it's not out yet, don't ask kind of a thing right here. So hey. I've been playing, playing with uh, the Adafruit IO beta site, which is uh, the Internet of Things kind of platform that we're working on. And uh, I'll show you real quickly a neat little demo I've been doing with uh, an Arduino Yoon and the Geiger counter that I was showing last week. So this is just the Mighty Ohm Geiger counter kit. And it, the neat thing is it has a serial output, so it'll output uh, the number of clicks per second that it has. And it, it goes into an Arduino Yoon here, which can run uh, Python scripts and things like that. So I've got a Python script that's reading the Geiger counter and sending it up to Adafruit.io site. Uh, and it's all just web APIs that it uses, so it's nothing too fancy, and you'll be able to use it on a bunch of different platforms. And I've got it on a granite tile here, so I read that granite is a little bit more radioactive than uh, most things. Like, I guess it has a little bit of uh, uranium inside of it. You really can't tell, though. Like, it's all kind of background. <laughs> you uh, but, just aware that people get, because it's... Yeah, right, the old stuff, right, where they didn't really know any better and <laughs> put some kind of nasty... <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll do a quick screen share here. Sometimes our web searches are probably weird when we work when we work on projects. Radioactive kitchen. <laughs> so, by the way, this is the first live demo of Adafruit.io ever. I um, haven't even seen it. They won't let they won't let me see it. Totally. So, <laughs> so um, you're you're kind of the the ultimate beta tester. So this is it, everybody. Yeah, yeah. So and it's uh it's all kind of in beta. So don't you know nothing's final here. Uh, but I've just been playing it with today and uh, kind of got this up and running in an hour or two. And so every 15 seconds, it's sending a new reading over to the site here. And you can see this is the dashboard that I built. And you can also tell it updates in real time. So as I'm watching this, uh, new readings are being sent from the Geiger counter. And in the upper left here, this is the dose, which is in micro sieverts per hour. Uh, and like a five or six sievert uh, dose would be a fatal one. So luckily, we're way okay. below that. <laughs> Stay away from those sieverts, Tony. Yeah, exactly. Get your units right. <laughs> right. And then uh, the the clicks per minute and the clicks per second. These are actually the raw output of what it's counting. So the Geiger tube. Every time it has a click, that's basically like a particle, a radioactive particle that hit it. And so it counts over time how many clicks it gets, and then converts that into sieverts here. Uh, but it's a really neat platform so far. I mean, basically, I'm just sending data in here, and you can go and edit the dashboard. So if I want to move things around, you know, I can drag and change uh, where stuff is and build, like, a whole dashboard um, of data here. And uh, it's made up of things called feeds and streams. So it's, you know, basically just data. So a stream is uh, a, a measurement. So there's a stream for the Geiger dose here. Uh, there's a stream for the clicks per minute. And those roll up into a feed, and then you build a dashboard by picking the feeds. Um, you can see there's a few bugs. Like, no. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not really formatting the numbers that I send, so it gets some floating point noise yeah. there. That's great. <laughs> and what's cool about this, and and you can add this maybe for a future show and tell demo, is let's say if the radiation level got too high, you could push stuff the other way and have like a physical alert. Exactly right. Where you're at. Exactly, yeah. So that's one thing that I haven't done. I'm basically just showing off data coming from the device to the I.O. site. But that's the next thing that you can do is, you know, have a button or a slider or some kind of value that you change on the dashboard and send something to the device here. So, you know, maybe I want to turn it off or do something like that. Or, you know, you can build, like, lights and things that you can control with it. So okay. um, it's pretty slick. And it's, yeah, it's uh, coming along pretty nicely, it seems like. Uh, you know, just real simple and easy to get started with. That that was the goal of it, and okay. thank you for showing this demo. If you could do a a, a log of how often Carmen's in um, the cat box. <laughs> I um, go to a, a, well, a I website just website called Is Carmen in it, the Box? <laughs> and sort of like yes or no. Yeah. Well, I would like to have like a, a graph over time to see how much time Carmen spends in the box because we've been oh, trying yeah. to train, yeah. we've been trying to train MOSFET to to, to hang out in a box because we're jealous. It's not going so well. But uh, I just want to know. Put him in the box. He jumps out. Yeah. Put him in the box. He jumps out. Yeah. No, so seriously. okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Yep. And right, we've got the cat. Yeah. I know. See? Yeah. Okay. Cat's in the box. Cat's in the box. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs>